Welcome to Metal Gods TV with Mick the Beard. Hi, with Mick the Beard at Bloodstock yet again, and I am with two guys from Wolf Crusher. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm Mitch. Brilliant. And you guys played already today? Yeah, yeah we played. Uh, we were the second band on on the New Blood stage today at 11.15 and we had a brilliant turnout. We were really surprised that so many people got up so early. We were stunned. But well, maybe it just started to rain, I don't know. <laughs> No, we didn't expect. We didn't have any expectations in terms of crowd because we are still a very new band. We've only been going for well, gigging wise for like nine months or well, something. Well, gigging wise, six months. The band started nine months ago, so you know. Well, playing I stand Bloodstock, corrected. I stand corrected. Yeah, playing Bloodstock after nine months, the band really existed as as amazing. Was because, that a competition thing or? Yeah, it was through the uh, unsigned video competition. We have won category A, which had the most bands, so we're especially proud of it. It had like 30 odd bands, probably with you know higher video budgets than we do. So. So we're really blown away. It just you know, I just uploaded it. You know, you buy a lottery ticket, and you know, yeah. um. gotta be in it to win it. Simple <laughs> as. But no, we, we we had no idea that that's the, that was going to be the outcome. We only found out that we were playing about two weeks ago, and it was just I was on the way. I was on my way out to do something else, and I got a text message. Oh, by the way, we've been confirmed for Bloodstock. I was buzzing for the rest of the day. Nothing that day could go wrong in any way, shape, or form to affect my <laughs> mood. But no, we were so we were absolutely stoked to be playing here. Nervous as hell when we were stood out when uh, Canyon Nicky were on first, and they were like building up, building up, and we're like, oh no. Getting nervous now. Our guitar player, you didn't see this, our guitar player nearly started crying he was that nervous. Oop. I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, we were really stoked. Very happy to be here, very happy to be here. And you, you say you got a good reception from the crowd? What, what's out there? Yeah, we had a brilliant reception, you know, because uh, our album just came out on the 18th of July. It, uh, you know, didn't get too many reviews or anything, so we didn't really know what to expect in terms of, uh, you know, crowd response. We had some awesome gigs uh, in and around Manchester. But you know, you come here and uh, people from all over the country, all over the Europe, come here, and uh, you know, we're a bit like, okay, it could go, you know, both ways. But luckily, it went really well. People really enjoyed it. It's just good to see people, you know, headbang and you know, mush around to your music. It's it's brilliant. It's an this awesome is, feeling. This is by far the biggest gig that we've played so far. Yes. You know, and like you said, we've been gigging for like what six months, and already we're we're playing on the same festival as Motorhead. I'm going to throw that out there, okay? <laughs> but, you know, it's little things like that. It, 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 it adds to you getting yourself out there. There's people here who would, ne well, 99% of the people here would never even know who they are. But we had a, so many people watching us before, so it's a case of, yeah, people now go away. And when they look at the lineup, when they go back, say, oh, yeah, I saw this band, this band, and this band were pretty good as well. And it progresses from there. You know, we just got to keep pushing it and just keep gigging as, many, yeah, as big, much as possible. Big thank you for Bloodstock for, yes. you know, uh, making this opportunity for, for unsigned bands and, and you know, Simon. bands starting off. And, and yeah, of course, Simon, Simon as well Hall. for, <laughs> yeah, Simon Hall for, you know, putting us on and making, you know, things go smoothly and have an awesome crew there. But, yeah. you know, big, big thank you to Bloodstock. And where are you guys based? We are based in Manchester. Oh, just Manchester. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, we've all got all the different stuff that we're all doing in terms of bands and that anyway, but we, there's only, I think there's only one of us that's actually from England, in the, who's actually from Manchester in the band. This guy's from Hungary, we've got a guitar player from India, we've got a vocalist from Ireland, I don't know where our drummer's from. He makes it. He, <laughs> well, it's he's something. a different country every yeah. time. He's from a test tube. Yeah, somebody yeah. told me. Yeah. Like Czech Republic, something around Sla Slavic country. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And I'm Man Manchester, born and bred, unfortunately. <laughs> I say, what's on the horizon after this thing, guys? Have we got? Well, I mean, how do you top it? Put it that way. <laughs> well, hopefully, we're aiming to top it. We're aiming to work really hard, try to promote the album, try to set our foot in Europe as well, not just the UK. You know, try to explore other festivals uh, next summer. And well, there are festivals going on all all year now, so it's not just a summer thing, even in the UK. So, trying to get on, you know, anywhere we can, just just to. Yeah, get more, as much exposure as we can. It's like you say, those festivals, I mean, I think they're the best way to get new bands exposure because people are walking around and just hear it and they're walking to the tent, whereas you're not getting that sort of exposure anywhere else. I mean, I know you've got the internet where people just type in what they want, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's really hard to guess the keywords, you yeah. know, what people are looking for. But it's like before, uh, like the day we set off actually to come to Bloods, like I was looking just at the lineup and just picking random bands because there's a lot of bands here that I've never heard of before anyway. Just right, listen to them. I'm putting them on YouTube or something. And it's like that band's really good. I want to watch them. So if I'm thinking if I'm doing that, there's going to be other people that are doing the same type of thing as well. That might have been where 
the crowd might have come from this morning, you know. So, yeah. Or it yeah. did start raining, one of the two. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, I find if you're on your meta tags, on your, on your website, put tit, foot, bum, <laughs> shag, you get fucking amazing amount of hits. <laughs> we'll try that. We'll try that. Actually, we'll yeah. do that, yeah. You watch our hit cow go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just people one day got there. It's like, oh. <laughs> This is not what I was looking for, you know, big hairy guys. Put, like interracial or something on there, you know. <laughs> yeah, all sorts of shit. It works. <laughs> we might try it out, you know, that's, yeah. that's targeted That is a really good idea, though. Top tip of the day for anybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that could yeah. work. Want to make money. <laughs> make money from home. <laughs> so, how do the guys get to check you out? Tell them everything about the album, tell them where you the contact you, just tell them why we're here. Yeah, so we have a website, www.wolfcrusher.com or .co.uk and we have the links to all of our sites we have the link to our merch store to our official store where you can get a physical copy from the album or just google wolf crusher seriously there's yeah, no other band Absolutely on the everything. name uh, on the face of the planet with a name like this so it's a good name choice you know good for google i love the name <laughs> it basically demonstrates what the music is about we crush wolves dude <laughs> <laughs> no, it's bit, like I said, you know, you can find us. Use to, Wolf Crusher on Google, everything will come up. Yeah. You know, or we're soon to be on iTunes anyway. Um, so you'll be able to download the, the uh, album off iTunes. It's already on Amazon, so you yeah. can get that. And it's it's just it's been just thrown all yeah, over the place at the all moment. All the usual, so. usual digital store. So just just Google us, or just go check you out. Guys, doing all this yourself then? Yes, pretty much. We we do have some PR help. But it's it's mainly That's only just really started. Though, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the last That's just started. So it's you know a lot of work. I mean, you know, bands like this. Sadly, you know, we cannot afford it to you know do it the proper way. There's no real label backing. Although our album is out through Cascade Music, uh, Copra Records, but it's mainly a distribution. Yeah. Thing, so it's it's not like oh yeah, the band is signed and you know it's like else. not like in the 80s. You know, you get picked up <laughs> and you know straight away you, you come back. Yeah, like yeah it's, it's, I'm still waiting for my mind's on order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can choose the color and make your <laughs> yeah. mind up. Yeah, yeah. Happens. No, we, we've had to finance all of this ourselves. Um, we've not had any uh, financial backing from anybody else, really, so, apart from the Bank of Dan. Yeah, please donate now. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we need to <laughs> For eat. For the future of metal. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, really okay. good. Thank you so much for having us. I hope it all works Cheers, out for thanks you. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah.